We are counting down the 10 most unsettling scientific anomalies that make 3i Atlas, the newest interstellar visitor in our solar system, far scarier than you have ever imagined. From impossible measurements and unbreakable resilience to data blackouts and theories of artificial origin, each entry reveals a mounting series of mysteries that challenge everything astronomers thought they knew about comets and cosmic visitors. These rankings are based on new October findings that stunned researchers and pushed expert probability toward the unthinkable. Which anomaly eclipses all the rest? Let us find out, starting with number 10. In the 10th place, 3i Atlas delivers a measurement that has left comet scientists unsettled. Negative polarization of minus 2.77% at a phase angle of 6.4 degrees. Normally, when sunlight scatters off comet dust, the light's polarization shifts in a predictable, positive direction. That's the rule for every comet ever studied, until now. For 3i Atlas, the light comes back polarized the opposite way, a phenomenon never documented in any other comet, interstellar or otherwise. This single reading, confirmed by multiple observatories, instantly triggered a global race to replicate the effect in laboratory settings. Teams at NASA Ames, the Max Planck Institute, and Japan's NAOJ all tried to recreate the signature using every known cosmic dust analog. All failed. No combination of particle size, shape, or mineral matched the observed polarization. The implication is simple and disturbing. The dust around 3i Atlas may be made of substances or structures not found anywhere else in the solar system. This anomaly stands as the first warning sign evidence that something about this object's material composition is fundamentally outside current scientific experience. Number 9. The resilience of 3i Atlas to solar activity sets it apart from every comet on record. On January 27, 2025, a powerful coronal mass ejection erupted from the Sun and collided head-on with the object. For most comets, this kind of solar storm spells disaster. Intense radiation and charged particles can strip away the coma, trigger violent outbursts, or even shatter the nucleus. Instead, 3i Atlas emerged almost untouched. Astronomers tracked its brightness and structure before and after the event, searching for signs of fragmentation or sudden tail formation. Nothing. Its coma remained diffuse, its core unbroken. The trajectory showed no measurable deviation despite the force of the solar blast. This level of durability is rare even among the largest solar system comets, but for an interstellar visitor, it's unprecedented. The survival of 3i Atlas through direct solar assault hints at a nucleus with extraordinary mass or internal strength, evidence that this object is built or formed to withstand cosmic extremes. In eighth place, the physical features of 3i Atlas break every rule in the comet playbook. Images from Hubble, and ground telescopes reveal a nucleus that's not round or lumpy, but stretched. An elongated form reminiscent of Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor. Instead of the classic bright sweeping tail, 3i Atlas surrounds itself with a diffuse ionized gas coma that refuses to coalesce into the dramatic arc seen in standard comets. This cloud glows with cyanide and carbon monoxide, both detected in high concentrations, but the overall environment hints at something stranger. Spectroscopic signatures suggest the material is more like the surface of Mars than the icy primordial leftovers that make up most comets. The nucleus itself is hard to pin down, its brightness overwhelmed by the surrounding haze, but high-resolution imaging confirms an asymmetric, cigar-like shape. The chemistry and structure, taken together, don't fit any category in the comet catalog. Instead, they point to an object with a history, and likely an origin, unlike anything that's ever entered the solar system before. Number 7. The mass and trajectory stability of 3i Atlas defy every expectation for an interstellar comet. At over 73 trillion pounds, this object outweighs SpaceX's Starship by a factor of 6 million. That's not just a record for interstellar visitors. 
it's an outlier for any comet ever tracked. The real shock comes from its movement. Despite outgassing at rates that would shove most comets off course, 3i Atlas barely budges. Astrometric data from Hubble, JWST and ground observatories confirm its orbit stays locked in, with non-gravitational acceleration so small they're nearly lost in the noise. Standard comet physics says that when a nucleus vents gas and dust at hundreds of kilograms per second, Newton's third law should push it around like a leaky rocket. But here, the trajectory remains almost perfectly smooth. The only way to explain that kind of inertia is with a nucleus so massive and cohesive that even the strongest jets can't nudge it. Modelers have checked for clever jet geometry or symmetrical outgassing to cancel the effect, but the odds of such perfect balance are vanishingly low. The numbers demand a dense, robust core, tens of billions of tons at minimum, for a comet crossing the solar system at 124,000 miles per hour. That kind of stability isn't just rare, it's almost impossible. Number six, the improbable origin of 3i Atlas has forced astronomers to question the very foundation of interstellar population models. According to current theory, the vast spaces between stars are littered with small fragments, asteroids and comets ejected during planetary formation. These models predict that if a giant like 3i Atlas can arrive in our solar system, we should have already seen hundreds, maybe thousands, of smaller interstellar objects. But the record is nearly empty. Before 3i Atlas, only two interstellar visitors had been confirmed, both far smaller and less massive. The sheer scale of this object, coupled with its solitary appearance, breaks the statistical expectations. Simulations run by planetary dynamicists show that the odds of such a massive body emerging from the galactic disk without an accompanying swarm of smaller debris are vanishingly low. The interstellar medium simply doesn't have enough rocky material to account for a traveler this size. Even after accounting for detection bias, our surveys should catch the big ones first. The absence of any supporting population is a glaring contradiction. This anomaly doesn't just challenge the physics of comet ejection, it calls into question the entire framework of how planetary systems shed material into the galaxy. For 3i Atlas, the numbers don't add up and the mystery deepens. Number five, the timing and trajectory of 3i Atlas challenge the very limits of probability. On October 3rd, 2025, the object passed within 18 million miles of Mars, a near miss on a cosmic scale. Then, on March 16th, 2026, it will sweep past Jupiter threading a path that stays within just five degrees of Earth's orbital plane. Each of these planetary encounters is precisely timed, with the odds of such a sequence occurring by chance, estimated at less than one in a million, according to orbital Monte Carlo studies. The geometry is so fine-tuned that even a single degree of deviation would have sent 3i Atlas on a completely different course, missing these planetary windows entirely. Simulations show that most interstellar objects arrive on random tilted paths, rarely aligning with the ecliptic where the major planets orbit. Yet here, every flyby falls into place as if choreographed. This improbable alignment has fueled speculation among scientists. Could the trajectory be more than coincidence? As the dates approach, anticipation grows, not just for the data these encounters will yield, but for what the uncanny precision might reveal about the object's true nature. Number four, the NASA data blackout during 3i Atlas's Mars flyby set off a wave of suspicion and debate. From October 1st to 4th, 2025, as the object approached within 18 million miles of Mars, public access to NASA's deep space network feeds and mission dashboards went dark. Officially, the shutdown was blamed on budget gridlock in Washington, but the timing couldn't have been worse. Inside the Deep Space Network control room, Flight Director Monica Valdez and her team shifted to restricted protocols. Internal logs later revealed tense exchanges and a surge in classified data handling. For outside researchers and amateur astronomers, the blackout was more than an inconvenience. 
It meant missing the most critical window for real-time imaging and trajectory updates just as 3i Atlas crossed the Martian orbit. Freedom of Information Act requests flooded NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in the days that followed, seeking answers about what was observed, what was withheld, and whether any anomalies were detected during the data gap. The absence of public data at such a crucial moment fueled speculation. Was something being hidden, or did the object itself trigger emergency protocols? The operational drama magnified every prior anomaly, turning a scientific puzzle into a lightning rod for rumor and conspiracy. In the aftermath, the blackout became a case study in how information gaps can drive public anxiety when the stakes and the mysteries are this high. Number three, the Trojan horse hypothesis reframes every anomaly of 3i Atlas as a feature, not a bug. Imagine an interstellar probe engineered to look like a comet, quietly threading its way through the solar system. The trajectory alone raises eyebrows. Aligned within just five degrees of the ecliptic, 3i Atlas glides past Mars and Jupiter on a path so precise that the odds of it happening by chance are, are less than one in a million. For a natural object, such a sequence would be a cosmic fluke. For a probe, it's an efficient survey route, maximizing planetary encounters while minimizing detection. Then comes the question of resilience. On January 27, 2025, a coronal mass ejection slammed into 3i Atlas. Instead of shattering or shedding mass, it sailed on, its coma barely disturbed. Surviving a solar storm like that would require structural strength or advanced materials far beyond what's expected from a typical comet. Some theorists argue this could be a deliberate design, robust enough to endure cosmic hazards, yet cloaked in dust and gas to blend in with natural debris. The timing of the NASA data blackout, just as 3i Atlas neared Mars, adds another layer of intrigue. While no official documents confirm classified assessments, rumors of defense agencies quietly evaluating the probe scenario have circulated in scientific circles. The object's behavior, minimal trajectory deviation despite violent outgassing, a shape that mimics Oumuamua, and an orbit optimized for planetary reconnaissance, fits the logic of a surveyor built to observe, not to be observed. With its closest Earth approach looming and new data windows opening, the urgency to observe 3i Atlas intensifies. If it is a Trojan horse, humanity's one chance to study a disguised visitor may be slipping away with each passing day. Number two, the final window to unravel the secrets of 3i Atlas is closing fast. On October 3, 2025, Mars Express and ExoMars watched as the object swept past Mars at a distance of 18 million miles. Their instruments captured spectral fingerprints of the coma and tracked gas emissions, data that scientists are now racing to analyze for clues about its true composition and origin. But the most anticipated opportunity lies ahead. As 3i Atlas races toward the outer solar system, the European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft is positioned for a rare observational campaign. While JUICE was built to study Jupiter's icy moons, its trajectory will bring it within range to remotely observe 3i Atlas as the comet nears Jupiter in early 2026. Mission planners are evaluating whether to retarget the spacecraft's cameras and spectrometers for a fleeting look at the interstellar visitor. If successful, JUICE could deliver images and spectra from a vantage point no other mission can match. December 19, 2025 marks the closest approach to Earth, 167 million miles. After that, 3i Atlas will accelerate outward, fading into deep space and beyond the reach of any current or planned mission. Every hour counts. Mars Express and ExoMars are already sifting through their datasets searching for anomalies in gas ratios and coma structure. Ground-based telescopes are coordinating a global observing campaign, hoping to catch any last-minute surprises as the comet recedes. This is the last, best chance to gather decisive evidence. Once 3i Atlas is gone, 
the scientific community may be left with more questions than answers and no second opportunity. And finally, in first place, the cumulative impact of 3I Atlas lands as a black swan event for modern astronomy. No single anomaly defines the threat. It's the way each violation of expectations stacks atop the last, forcing a reckoning with models that once seemed unshakable. At its core, 3I Atlas is not just another interstellar visitor. It's a crucible for scientific humility, a reminder that the universe still holds surprises powerful enough to upend decades of consensus. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb assigns the odds at 30 to 40 percent that this object is not entirely natural. That's not a fringe guess. It's a sober assessment from a leading voice in the field, grounded in the improbable trajectory, the planetary flybys that line up with uncanny precision, and the resilience to cosmic punishment that defies textbook comet physics. Loeb's argument is simple. If you wanted to observe planets efficiently, you'd pick a path just like this one. The ecliptic alignment, the fine-tuned encounters, the timing, it all makes sense from an engineering perspective. Yet, even if every anomaly has a natural explanation, the odds of so many converging in one object are vanishingly small. Suzanne Fenire proposes a different vision. She sees 3I Atlas not as an artifact, but as a planetary seed, an interstellar wanderer capable of sparking new worlds when captured by young systems. If her hypothesis holds, 3I Atlas is a messenger from the epoch of planet formation, carrying the raw materials and chemical fingerprints of a vanished star system. Either scenario, artificial or primordial, forces a rewrite of what is possible in planetary science. The implications ripple outward. If 3I Atlas is artificial, it would be the most consequential discovery in human history, a sign that intelligence has crossed interstellar distances, perhaps many times before. If natural, it still shatters the boundaries of what we thought interstellar space could deliver, revealing a cosmos far more dynamic and unpredictable than any model predicted. The black swan label is not just hyperbole. It's a warning that the next interstellar visitor could be stranger, faster, or more dangerous, and that our readiness to confront such events remains untested. In the end, 3I Atlas is a test of scientific nerve. It demands new theories, new observing strategies, and a willingness to accept that the universe may not play by our rules. Whether probe or planetary seed, it expands the horizon of the possible and leaves every astronomer and every policymaker looking skyward with a new sense of urgency. From the first hint of negative polarization to the staggering possibility of an artificial Trojan horse, this countdown has revealed why 3I Atlas stands apart from every interstellar object we've ever seen. Across all 10 entries, we found a pattern of extreme anomalies, massive size, unmatched trajectory stability, improbable origin, and a path so precise that the odds defy current models. The NASA data blackout and the urgency of upcoming spacecraft flybys only deepened the mystery. At the top of the list, the cumulative scientific impact is clear. 3I Atlas isn't just rare. It's a black swan event, forcing astronomers to question the very nature of interstellar visitors. Whether natural or engineered, its combination of mass, resilience, and cosmic timing shatters old assumptions and demands new theories. The story of 3I Atlas proves that our solar system can still surprise us and that the universe may be far stranger and more closely watched than we ever imagined. <laughs>